While the embattled Delaware River Port Authority has voted to enact additional reforms, the DRPA picked up where it left off last week when a number of resolutions were tabled. The bi-state agency also voted to eliminate jobs and to continue some toll discounts. Meantime, Governor Christie is expressing frustration about the pace of those reforms, hinting that CEO John Mathewson's future with the organization depends on them. State House correspondent Zachary Fink is standing by live now outside DRPA headquarters in Camden with the latest. Zach? Well, Jim, after initially denying that there were issues about transparency and accountability, the DRPA board has since come around. They have passed numerous reforms, about 30 in the last two weeks, the bulk of which were done last week, but a handful of which were done today, including eliminating two positions, imposing additional ethical reforms, and addressing and extending those toll discounts. It was another marathon session for the DRPA board, but more than two and a half hours of their day was spent in executive session behind closed doors. This is what happened just before they suspended the public portion of the meeting. I understand the attorney-client privilege. We should probably think about a people-to-people -people privilege. Let's just have a conversation about what we're talking about. Instead of going into a room, six or eight people discussing an issue, let's have some good open dialogue. At issue in the closed-door session was former Corporate Secretary John Lawless, who was escorted out of the building in April for reasons the board has never explained. Yes, I was met in the executive conference room, which is right behind this wall, and um, by Mr. Matheson, someone from personnel, and two armed guards, and I was given the letters. Um, I basically made no comment except that I would see them in court. But Lawless was never fired until the board voted today to eliminate his position. I'm being paid and I'm not here. You know, the toll payers cannot like that, okay? But why are they paying me? They're paying me because they know they're wrong. As you know, I voted no because there, there's, there, there needs to be a serious management overhaul. I mean, there's, there's a whole lot of reasoning. Yeah, as you also heard today, you know, I believe 75% of what we did in executive session could have been held in an open public session. The board also voted today to continue certain toll discounts aimed at seniors and others. They were set to expire next week, and it placed additional ethical restrictions on commissioners and employees. Late this afternoon, Pennsylvania Treasurer Rob McCord asked about a verbal so-called true-up agreement involving insurance premiums that divided hundreds of thousands of dollars in commissions up evenly between New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Regarding the insurance true-up, I am very concerned that something wrong happened. Uh, I'm pressing for a rapid deployment of a true uh, legal and financial investigation of that matter. Uh, I don't know what I don't know, but I want to be sure that people weren't paid, not who weren't doing the real work. And I'll hasten to add, this isn't just normal insurance. This is workers' compensation insurance, so that you may talk about a $100,000 brokerage fee or a couple of hundred thousand dollars, but you're talking about tens of millions in potential liability that ultimately rolls to the toll payers down the road. Last week, Pennsylvania Auditor General Jack Wagner said he was unhappy that the DRPA continues to spend $250,000 each year on the Army-Navy game. We told him the board voted last December to commit $1.5 million toward the game over the next six years. I'm not sure what relationship there is between the DRPA and the Army-Navy game. I'm a Vietnam veteran, I'm a Marine Corps veteran, I'm a pro-veteran person and military, but there still is no association between this authority spending money on a football game. Does that surprise you to hear? Was the commitment for the next several years? Very much so. Let's spend the limited resources that we have of the toll payers' money on things that are a part of the core mission of the DRPA. And what I'm trying to convince John Matheson and the rest of that board on both sides of the river is just belly up to the bar and get it over with. And joining us now to discuss today's meeting and the developments is CEO of the DRPA, John Matheson, former Republican senator. Thank you for being with us. Uh, Governor Christie today expressing a little frustration at the pace of the reforms. Are you satisfied now that everything he has asked for has now been done by this board? I believe that everything the governor has asked for has been done by the board. Um, it took us two weeks as opposed to one week. I know the governor had sent that message uh, more than two weeks ago. Uh, but today, I believe, finished off the agenda that the, the governor had uh, for us to take a look at. 
The irony was noted by some that despite promising transparency today that the board did actually disappear into an executive session for two and a half hours to discuss what I'm understanding is a matter of personnel. Can you give me any comment on the John Lawless matter and why has the board not explained its actions in that case? Well, it is a matter of personnel. It's also a matter of ongoing uh, potential litigation. And um, the statutes are very clear both in New Jersey and Pennsylvania that says the board has, has the right and perhaps even the need to go into a closed executive session in discussing those kinds of matters. One, for the issues of privacy for the employee. Two, to protect its own interests if it's involving litigation. And so they, they did that. And, and my comments can only go as far as what the board voted on in public. They didn't take any action in those closed sessions. They can't do that. They're prohibited from doing that under the, under the law. But they came out and they voted um, to eliminate the job of the corporate secretary um, as a full-time position. Uh, at the same time, in that same embodied in that resolution was what Governor Christie had asked, and that was to take that position and roll it into the, uh, the corporate council's position so that the corporate council now has basically the responsibility for also acting as corporate secretary in addition to being general counsel at no extra compensation. So we're, in theory, saving the $123,000 salary plus the benefits that the corporate secretary would have earned as a, as a single individual and have rolled that into the, uh, to the general counsel's position. Auditor General Jack Wagner has expressed frustration now two weeks in a row about $250,000 in annual payments by the DRPA to support the Army-Navy game. Your reaction to that? You know, um, the, the DRPA is reacting to a charter change that was enacted by the legislature of New Jersey and Pennsylvania back in 1992, where it said the DRPA should not only be a transportation authority, but an economic development authority as well. And that action was supported by Congress and signed by the President of the United States. The DRPA acted on that and became an economic development authority back in the year 2000 when they raised tolls. Um, and they basically became uh, a funding source for a number of different projects here in the Delaware Valley, including the Army-Navy game, but including this building that we're standing in front of right now, the aquarium, including the River Sharks baseball stadium, and a whole host of other projects. But re real quick, let me just, because we, we're running out of sure. time here. You did tell NJ and senior political correspondent Michael Aaron that that money was no longer going to be spent after a resolution was passed in 2008, but you guys voted in December 2009 mm -hmm. to commit for six more years, $1.5 million to that game. How yeah. is that possible? It's possible because they're still using the old funds from the year 2000. Those are not new funds. What we committed to and what I told Michael Aaron was that the DRPA in any new toll increases, we're not going to use any of those dollars for economic development funding. They still had some of those monies left over from the year 2000. Um, they transferred those monies into, into economic development projects. But the board had voted not to do any more economic development projects with using new monies. That now is gone. Those monies are gone. And as a matter of fact, the board last week passed a resolution that said they're not even supporting those projects any longer with leftover money. They're going to end that practice. So uh, going forward, we can expect that the board will not act on those kinds of economic development projects. Okay, CEO, D DRPA CEO John Matheson, thank you very much for being with us. That is the latest from here. I'm Zachary Fink, live in Camden. Jim, back to you. All right, thank you, Zach.